Hi everyone. Today in this video, we will learn about certifications in Power Platform. I will take you through the certification journey from beginner to advanced step by step. The first exam is PL900 which is Power Platform Fundamentals. This exam expect that you can describe the business value which Power Platform provides. This one is really good one to do as a foundational level. You should be able to demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages and AI authoring experience in Microsoft Power Platform. The next certification is PL100 which is Microsoft Power Platform App Maker. So PL100 certification has been retired on 30 June 2024. This certification is not available now. In the Google if you type PL100 click on the first link so if you scroll down you will see a link exam pl100 which is microsoft power platform app maker just click on that so we'll land up on microsoft certified power platform app maker associate so here you can see the retirement date is 30th of june and if you scroll it down you will see this certificate retired on june 30th 2024 so now on second step, instead of PL100, you should go for Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment. So these assessments are free of cost. So these focus on specific scenarios to validate your proficiency in the real world task. So to know more about Microsoft Applied Skill, let's search for Microsoft Applied Skill on Google. So for the announcing Microsoft Applied Skills, click on the first link. And here you will find this link. We are thrilled to introduce Microsoft Applied Skills. Just navigate to this link. If you scroll it down, you will find a button Browse Applied Skills. Just click on that. So here you will see uh, more than 30 applied skills. So to choose the relevant Power App platform, just apply filter on the Power Platform at left hand side. So now you can see uh, there are four applied skills which is relevant to Power Platform. The first one is the create and manage automated processes by using Power Automate. Create and manage canvas apps with Power Apps. Create and manage model driven apps with Power Apps and Dataverse. Implement AI models with Microsoft Power Platform AI Builder. If you click on the second one which is create and manage canvas apps. If you scroll down, so level is intermediate. And if you see the task performed, you will find this is relevant to the Canvas app. So this one is similar to PL100, which was Power Apps Maker Certification. So if you scroll it down, you will see the assessment preparation. So here you can go for the assessment. So likewise, you can navigate to each one to know more details regarding the assessment. Once you complete with Microsoft Applied Learnings, then you should go for Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant. So the skills measured will be the Microsoft Dataverse, create apps by using Microsoft Power Apps, creating and managing logic and process automation and managing environments. So that means this certification is suitable for professional who is designing, implementing and managing Power Platform solutions. So this is more on administration and configuration side of things. So this is an intermediate level certifications and you need only one exam to be taken. The next certification is PL400 which is Microsoft Power Platform Developers. So if you are a core developer and building controls and applications using Power Apps and building custom connectors then you should consider taking Power Platform Developer Certifications. So this will cover everything which you have done in previous certifications and it will add more developer stuff to it. If you see the skills measured, so it includes a creating a technical design, building Power Platform solutions and implementing Power App environments and extending the platform and integrations. So if you go more details on the requirement, so as a candidate, you should have development experience that includes Microsoft Power Platform services, JavaScript, JSON, TypeScript, C Sharp, HTML, RESTful Web APIs, Visual Studio, and Microsoft Azure. So it also involves integrating Azure functions into Power Platform solutions 
and also deployment of the solutions. So if you are doing such kind of development work, then this certificate is for you. The next one is the PL600, which is Microsoft Power Platform Solution Architect. So this is in-depth certification of Microsoft Power Platform, which involves architecture and solution design. So this certificate has two prerequisites. You must qualify either PL400, which is Microsoft Power Platform Developer or PL200, which is Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant to go for this certification, which is PL600. So as a candidate for this certification, you should have solution architecture experience across functional and technical discipline of Microsoft Power Platform. If you go for the skills required, it is performing solution envisioning and requirement analysis architecture a solution, implement the solution. That means you should be able to facilitate design decisions based on best practices on various aspects, which includes development, configuration, integration, infrastructure, security, licensing, storage, and change management. So in short, this role you are required to architect and ensure the successful implementation of end-to-end -end solutions. So this is all about Power Platform certifications. And if you are going with this certification, you should follow this order, which I have demonstrated here. You will find all the relevant links to all the certifications in the descriptions. Thank you for watching. And if you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you.